Hey guys, today we're doing a video on unpopular opinions. So don't get too salty when you see something that you like. And don't get offended. And look, you know, by, probably by the end of this video you're going to realise, oh wait, see uh, James and Megan, they're absolute fucking brainlets. I have yes. no idea what they're talking about. Yes, they're so. absolute imbeciles. <laughs> what are they, like, how, how are they talking about any of this? Because clearly they've got no understanding of anything that they say. But look, well, let's just get into this, will we? It's not that bad. I don't think there's anything to out there, but let's do this, will we? What are your unpopular opinions on TG? I like Magitech. Sciencey magic and steampunk. Steampunk's kind of cringe, but steampunk I... Steampunk is cringe. I, I, I consider steampunk as pure aesthetic. And yeah. it's got no substance to it. Yeah. However, I, I do fall victim to magic attack. I'm sorry, guys. Please don't... Like, do. I, I, I'm sorry. Oh, of All course right? you do. D&D 5th edition is decent, good, leaning to good. GURPS is pretty good. And not just a meme, but it looks complex enough to be a hard sell to players. The supplements and original settings like transhuman space and technomancer are the best parts. I rather like freak shit, but I understand why many people draw to it are the problem players. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I put up a poll on the community tab the other day asking about like you know what's the worst, and uh, let me let me actually check who was the winners. And it wasn't actually the freak shit, although oh. you could like complimented it like put it in there but it was half anything but I suppose like half vampire half elf half yeah. you know what I mean oh you know I, I do get it though I, I, the like, worst is half orc half human there's so many of them I feel like if you're just gonna do it just play just play order. one or the other you know I get it for the whole stats and stuff like that yeah, and it isn't but, like designed uh, like that but I would rather just play an actual orc, orc. than a half orc you yeah. know but like, that's just me D&D is just LARPing the board game I mean, that's not an unpopular opinion. No, that's that's just that's, that's just truth. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's just what it is. Wonder what Garpin stands for. Goal plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fifth edition is the best, cleanest system to run for a story-focused group in a fantasy setting. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, he's not. Uh, uh, like, no. It, it, no. And it's supremely easy to adapt it to suit your tone and needs to the versatile tool set that it presents. Okay, like no, it, he's it, not wrong whenever he says it's, it's easy clean. to. I would, I, no, it's definitely clean. It is a clean system. It is very streamlined. Yeah. It's very easy to pick up and go. But it's not the fuck. No, I it's don't, not the best. No, it's definitely not the best. But like, it's not bad. And it's again, I, and again, I get what he's saying with the whole tone because, like, you know, one of the big criticisms I think for fifth edition is its lack of customization and stuff yeah. the rule set doesn't really support it I don't yeah. feel as but well but that's why I think it's good for new players yeah it is because good. they're not Bogged because down. it can't be you know changed an awful lot the fact that you're not playing with people with like mad stats mm. and stuff and you're like a, a rogue <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's very, it's very like, yeah is there anything stand, is, is, there, is there anyone else stand beside you yeah sweet you get sneak attack yeah. job done yeah, I get, no, I get what you're trying to say. Age of Sigmar and Stormcast Eternals are kind of neat. No, they're not. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm a guy. Like, I'm one of those ones. I can't comment on this. Uh, yeah, you're not really into yeah. 40k. Oh, not 40k. Sorry, Warhammer in general. But uh, no, I'm not a fan of Age of Sigmar at all. Um, what upsets me the most about it is I, whenever I was getting back into it and all, like back in like 2013, I think I was getting mm -hmm. back into 40k, and I really wanted to get into fantasy because I had loads of fantasy armies when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And everyone was like, no, nah, don't bother. There's this here like end time sort of thing, and there's a new edition coming out like, you know, yeah. next year. So just don't bother. And then it came out, and I was like, Mm. Eh, I don't like the mm. I don't like the feel. <laughs> Give me that yeah. high gothic sort of, you know what I mean. And it was a little shame that they also brought out the Total War games because Total War games are amazing. And I just like I, it makes me sad. I'm mean, just skip this, <laughs> all right? Just skip it. There's nothing wrong with having a game with sexy characters who wear skimpy armor and loincloths. Also, text and images and books can't actually hurt anyone. So stop pretending it does and screeching for changes because of some perceived stereotype. I mean, like, look, I'm okay with sex characters. I'm a big Frank Fazetta fan. Mm -hmm. I love that whole artwork style. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, that old, like, that old Conan the Barbarian, that hyper-real age shit. I'm yeah. a bit of a sucker for it. And look, it all depends on tone of what the game is. Yeah. Like, you know, if you want to have, like, a very gritty, dirty... Like, if you're in, like, a succubus lair yeah. or something, like, you can't expect them 
not to be some sort of some sexy. some form of sex. So yeah, no, yeah, you're right. But what I'm more going on is like you know what type of tone is your game? Yeah, like you know, is it going to be like that high fantasy s? Yeah, magic fixes everything, or is it going to be more of like you know a dark gritty sort of everyone's covered in muck and oh, everyone yeah. gets every the heroes get pulled apart by peasants with shovels? Yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. Firearms belong in D and D. Yes. <laughs> I am partial to muskets. Yes. I am very partial. From to them. the musket to the laser rifle, I think they fairly belong in D and D, and always have. Temple of the Frog was one of my favorite old school dungeon modules. I'm like I know a lot of people hate them. I personally do enjoy them. Um, my main character Gobby does have a peg leg rifle, mm-hmm. and I do enjoy that. And I know the setting is Spelljammer, so it is a bit more. It's like, different. It's, it's more, more like Renaissance yeah. sort of yeah. time period in space. But I am partial but to it. Make it acceptable. Make it a known uh, thing. And I, like you know, Especially the thing for, like, is, like Rangers and shit. I I I have no issue with it because look at this. Like it's not real life. We're using hit dice just started accordingly yeah you know what i mean exactly. it's not like it's not going to go in your immersion and night getting shot in the face because yeah. oh wait oh it's hit dice so like you know it probably did like six damage or some bullshit yeah. you know what i mean it, yeah. it if we wanted to make it like that it just doesn't work with hit dice i feel like hit dice the way it translates across doesn't yeah. work very no, well I get you. you know while I endlessly mock people for their self-inserts and drizzit clones and half-elf, half-dragon ninja sorceress with the katanas, most of my own characters inevitably wind up being absolutely boilerplate noir protagonists. Maybe with a side order of anime bullshit. Half-X and Hunt-X. Fucking all of them. Everyone winds up being Geralt of Rivia or Harry Dresden or Hellboy. I've been told in real life that I literally am the dude from No Gun's Life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like a lot of people fall into that trap yeah. a lot of the time. I feel like I fall into that trap sometimes. Look, sometimes it is hard to make a character off the uh, top of your head. Yeah. It's, it's, you know the problem is, it's trying to make an original character. And let's be serious with you. <laughs> and then you try people, to make an original one like, that when, when, turns when, into a stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, oh, don't steal my OC, guys. It turns into a Sonic <laughs> yes. OC or some shit. Yes. I do feel like that is the case, but I feel like a lot of time when it comes to media or anything in general, when it comes to trying to create something, we do like I think humans are particularly partial to just stealing the good bits. Yeah. And what they like. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, put that bit in there, put that bit in there. You know, and I feel like we do that without even noticing we do that the vast majority of the time. Do you guys ever notice yourself doing things like, oh my god, why am I doing this? Oh my god. Why am I like this? Have I become what I've sworn against, (laughs) you know? I think it happens more often than not, yeah. and uh, you're not like it's not until it's already been done and you've been doing it for a while do you actually realize, oh, oh fuck, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role playing games? Cause we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Cause we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties. Oni bitties. Cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. Not a wildly unpopular one, but unpopular in my grip. One faggot we play with randomly generates everything about his characters. Down to the backstory. Even if he doesn't make sense with what he's already rolled. We all shit on him for years for being too lazy to come up with characters. Try it myself because I genuinely didn't have enough time to make a character. It's way more fun than actually designing a character. I've been generating ever since. I confessed to the original random fag, but I never told the rest. And he's kept my secret despite everyone else continuing to rag on him. He's my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You know, I'm, I'm not completely opposed to the idea of Logan. Like, I, okay, okay, I know a lot of people hate this. I, I, I'm opposed to Logan for stats. Yeah. Right? But I don't mind Logan for hit dice, but I think that's just because I've been doing it for yeah. the past, like, six months now. Yeah. And I'm actually that used to it now, and because everyone else in the game is doing it, it doesn't bother me. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm not opposed to the I'm idea of a, Logan. No, I'm not opposed to rolling up a character, because like, if you want sometimes, to something- as we said in the last post, you just seem to fall into, like, doing the same shit over and over again, but yeah. if you want to try something different, maybe try this and see how it works out. I mean, maybe like, a couple you know, of times. I, I'm, I'm pretty partial. I'm, at best, I would play a martial class 
with some basic magic mm-hmm. like a paladin. Yeah. Um, something like that. But maybe but, this mm- might open your box a wee bit. Yeah. And it might open your box? Open your box. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Yeah. It might, like, open you up a wee bit to playing different characters yeah. and, you know, different races or different, you know, anything magical like. abilities, anything like that. You know, yeah. instead of just sticking to your one thing that you always play. Well, like, you know, it's like, right, okay, I'm stuck. I'm going with this because it's the best for the stats mm-hmm. and it just makes sense. I'm okay with this. However, it depends on how. Fr- long like, you- frankly, I never play magic because it confuses the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's just like ah, I'm not interested. Yeah. I don't, I'm not. I don't know. But I'm, I would I'm not love to give a magic character a go, but I just, I, I, I just don't have the confidence. <laughs> yeah, I know. I get exactly what you mean. I, I feel like that sometimes. You know, and having to plan out and say, right, okay, no, I need this spell, yeah. I need that. And how many I mean, spells do you have? How many do you have left? Yeah. Do you use this one once a day or this one once a yeah. day? Yeah. But no, I, I, have you guys ever done this? Because this one's actually kind of interesting. Yeah. And I, I might, well, it depends if I'm doing a one shot, I'll play that, but I don't want to. Do it for a whole campaign. Yeah, I'd yeah, probably do it for a one shot. I would do it for one shot, no swap. I don't see that this is an unpopular opinion. No. You know, I'm, I'm pretty cool with this. Imperial Guard players are normally spurgs, but at least they seem to genuinely enjoy the setting and playing the game, instead of trashing the army when it's not competitive anymore. Tower kind of cool. <laughs> well, just forget about that Thai comment. Right, okay, <laughs> I'm going to talk about this, right, because we did a video talking about 40k a wee while back, and I said in it that 40k memes, specifically Imperial Guard player memes, are fucking trash, and I stand by that. They are <laughs> fucking trash and a lot of people are like oh you don't get it it's like I've got an Imperial Guard army right <laughs> so don't fucking pull that shit on me right guys I've got an Imperial Guard army I have a fucking thousand point death corpse of Krieg I know it's not that big but like it's something you know what I mean so don't give me any of that shit and tell me I'm wrong 40k memes are trash and they do need to improve yeah they coming do. from the Dark Eldar player yeah, it's well, mostly Dark Elder, yeah. <laughs> but again, Dark Elder memes are pretty fucking trash too. Yeah. 40k memes in general are just... I'm sorry, Shut guys. We, 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 we need to work harder to make <laughs> yeah. them better. And I do think there is a lot of them, because most guys, guys, come on. The memes are like 10 years old now. <laughs> yeah. I, like, you know, most of them are over 10 years old. I get it, Thin Your Pants is a really funny meme, but it's old, even if it is true. <laughs> Having good source book art is really important for immersion. The high and late Middle Ages are less interesting than the Dark Ages and early modern periods. Yeah, I agree yeah, with I that. Agree with that. My favourite, I love Bronze Age. I love Bronze Age. We know. Like, I'm a big Bronze Age fag. <laughs> I love it. I'm we really know. interested in it. <laughs> Making science, fantasy, or magitech work is mostly a matter of consistent aesthetics. 40k does it much better than Eberron. I would have to agree. That's one of the things 40k does amazingly well. The aesthetics? The aesthetics and bringing together that whole... Like, let's be honest with you, in 40k, the technology isn't... Really, it may as well be Magitech mm-hmm. at this point. Cause some, like, like, I'm not going to get into this. Right? <laughs> I'm not going to get into it. Anything crunchier than Mongoose Traveller isn't worth playing. Even some really cool games like The Riddle of Steel and its successor could cut like 33-50% to 50% of their text. And it would be a huge improvement. Have no words about that because I've never played it. So no. hit points are a terrible damage mechanic. Yeah, when we yes. talked about that earlier, yeah. that's why I'm okay with firearms because hit dice just they yeah. don't translate. No. You know what I mean? More than one full combat per session is usually too much. No, I'm not a- like a full combat. I'm not on about like just run-ins where you're like, bang bang two hits and they're dead yeah like full combat it can be tedious it can be tedious it depends well no it depends on the encounter it depends on what you're going up against it depends on a bit of teamwork yeah if you're willing to work you know what i mean i think i think there's a bit more to it than just that pure horror doesn't work too well in rpgs and ends up becoming detective or action orientated yeah i've never played a horror game though i've never played a horror rpg i would love to play a horror game i would love to play it if any of you know of any, like, Oh, good come to ones. think of it, actually, fuck, that fella messaged me asking if he wanted to play in his, uh, his, um, Call of Cthulhu game. I completely forgot to write back to him. Oh, yeah. We're going to write back to you the next day or two if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot about him, actually, Megan. No, we're invited. Yeah. We're invited to play, uh, But no, Call but Cthulhu actually, game. if any of you know any, like, good horror, like, proper horror RPG games, let me know because I would love to play it. Yeah. And if you're in any, hit me up. <laughs> well, well, we got that invite even though I forgot to write back yeah. to you. I feel really bad. Now, actually, I'll get back to you. Don't worry. If you're watching, I'll write back. 
It's surprisingly fun role-playing as underpowered characters like sidekicks, disabled people, support characters, etc. And I wish more people were open to it. I mean, I do enjoy playing support classes. I enjoy playing clerics and stuff like that. Combat wheelchairs! Oh, like, I'm not going to talk about the combat <laughs> wheelchair. I feel like, okay, you know what, actually, you know, you know what, this whole video is about unpopular opinions. Let's get into it. Although I don't feel like my opinion is that unpopular because I believe it's more normal than what it is. Yeah. First of all, combat wheelchairs are fucking trash. I'm okay with them when it comes to wizards and stuff like that. Oh, but, yeah. uh, but a martial class in a wheelchair, yeah. I'm no, sorry. No, no. Don't mark. Like, you know, c- give me cold spider legs. I know. Can you give me, like, you know, like, you know, if we're going to do this, there must be a, some other way of getting about. Like, you know, okay, if you want to have a character that your legs don't work, that's fine. Yeah. But to I don't... To represent you, if you, like, if, 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 if the if, player is in a wheelchair, if you I, want something to represent If you yourself, want to do yourself that's insert, fine. That's sweet. But... You need to know that, like, a, a fighting class and stuff like that won't, won't work. It most won't work. most dungeons are just not, like, you know, they're just not wheelchair accessible. Yeah. You know, maybe this could be done well. I have no idea. Um, I've ne- well, yeah, I've never played with something. Yeah, I've never, I've never played. <laughs> but like, I kind of just think it's. I mean, like, if you, I mean, like, you know, I just, like, you know, like, next close. <laughs> like, no, no, if, if, like, if people want to play in the wheelchair, I'm cool with it. I want to see yeah. what it's about. I actually do want to see what the fuck it's actually all about because it's been talked about that much for the past few months. May as well just see what all the fucking fuss is about. But I do... I, I, or like, why don't we all play in a combat wheelchair and have, like, you know, like, wheelchair basketball? Yeah. Or, like, have a wheelchair, like, magic match? Okay, you know what we need? We need, you know, Blood Bowl? Blood Bowl, the 40k... Uh, no, you the know fu- what you need? What? <laughs> I don't know if this is insensitive or not, but you know the... You know the Beyblades Arena? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I mean, I mean, I mean, a Beyblade combat wheelchair. I would be down with actually, genuinely. Yes. You know what? Fuck combat wheelchair. Yes. We need combat Beyblades. Yes. <laughs> this is, sorry if that hurt anyone, but I just had this mad image in my head. Systems where killing people forces a sanity check or equivalent are killed. Nah, I'm not into the zombie. No. no. Stat arrays and point by systems discourage players from leaving their comfort zone. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. I mean, but like, you know, let's be serious. Most of the time, when it comes to that shit, people design their characters to be good at something. You, you can't get the like. Just play a fucking bard, right? Yeah. Just play a fucking bard if you yes. want to do that shit. If you want to be good at everything, just play a fucking bard, right? Warhammer and other miniature war games are awful to actually play. People just don't realize because it takes so much investment and time to play just one game and is mostly a social experience. If Games Workshop made a one-to-one version of 40k and people could grind it, they would realise how much of a mess it is. Similar to what happened to Magic the Gathering Arena, once people other than Microsoft Excel grinders could play thousands of games a month. Look, don't I, tell I, me it's not fucking tedious to play a forty k game. Well, you, you, well you, were, you were never in. Did I you? was, yeah, but I was there. Yeah, you did. You did play a good I got, few. Yeah, I got drunk in the corner. <laughs> yeah, well, you did play a good <laughs> few games. I did enjoy playing it. I just felt to me the power creep got too much, and I just said, "Fuck this! Mm-hmm. I'm not p- playing no more." That's what happened to Especially me. Especially when somebody's a proper real fuck. Like, oh, it's yeah. awful. Well, I don't mind people like that whenever it comes to playing. No, you, you're like. Not even half a centimeter out. Oh like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, that is bullshit. Yeah, you got me there. That's bad. Um, that, yeah. I, okay. Yeah, I will. <laughs> James, actually, don't I, even. I, I, I it's like, I like it's way funner it. putting together the models and painting the models than it is actually playing forty k. Yeah, he's looking with <laughs> such a sad face. Well, right look, I, I don't even play forty k anymore. Why I not? I, I haven't played. Why not? Uh, because it's fucking. Boring. Sorry, unpopular <laughs> opinion video. It's fucking boring. <laughs> okay, like the te- like I haven't played in like what two editions now, so I'm <laughs> and going, I like, wonder I- why. <laughs> well, okay, first of all, because the place that we played fucking closed, so it did. And then they moved over, and then any time I went down there, I ended up getting steam, and then you had to come down and pick us up. <laughs> and that's what happened, and then I dumped my car fucking like 20 miles but why away. why did you get steaming? To cope with playing 40k? Well, no, okay, I will say, it is more of a social experience, so yeah. it, really, it really is. It, and it, let's be honest with you, it is a lot of fun. I do enjoy playing it, but it's more because I'm playing with people that I actually enjoy playing with, I would yeah, say. Yeah, but don't tell me, me you don't come back and your head's fucking bouncing. Oh, yeah, I would say my Sometimes head. I get that from D&D, though. I don't get it from D&D at all, but I feel I like... I get I'm... it more with D&D whenever I'm playing Unroll 20, because I'm staring at the screen. For so long. 
No, I get. I used to get that with 40k. Definitely, my head would be. I would get it, and I'm not even fucking playing it. I'm in the other side of the fucking room. I, th- I think that's because when it comes to like war games and stuff, it's a lot more technical. And with D and D, you have a lot more room to fuck about. Yeah. And just kind of like do whatever. You know, you can just if you don't want to be serious, you don't have to be serious. Whereas when you plan 40k, you know, if you're playing against someone, you do want to try and win. You know. And not fall asleep at the same time. <laughs> I think we'll leave that there, yeah. actually. What do, you, what do you guys think? I can't think? wait to hear you guys in the comments. <laughs> yeah. And what do women know that 40k? Wait. Uh, okay, I, I hate David. There's a reason why women play D&D and not 40k, because 40k is fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that why, do you Tell reckon? me. I've tried. I tried so hard to play 40k. Yeah, there's, I, I would say there's a lot of women that play D&D, and there's fucking Fuck all the update. But I, I also think that's to do with the cost of entry. As he says, in it, like, you know, like you're going to be dropping minimum a good few hundred quid mm-hmm. easily, just to start easily. playing. You know? And um, it, is, it is a bit of a big thing. Well, guys, I'll be honest with you. I don't think, like, you know, we said anything that out there. And I think most of the points that the boys were talking about, let's be honest with you, they're kind of true. For the most part, that is, of course. Yeah, but like. That's the thing with these, like, uh, unpopular, unpopular opinion opinions. ones. If they're I, not unpopular because quite a lot of people fucking agree with you. <laughs> I know, exactly. That's what I feel like a lot of the I time. Know. Most people tend to, like, yeah, no, you're not long. Yeah, no, I get exactly yeah. what you're trying to say. What are your guys' unpopular opinions about tabletop role-playing games in general? Put them down in the comments down below. And we might do a video, actually, on it, if we get enough good ones. If we get enough good if ones, If we get enough yeah. good ones, yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a, we'll do a comment, a word-style video. But check out the links, go and check out the models, uh, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get every... Uh, notified every time we post. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Absolute fucking <laughs> brain hemorrhage moment. Like I'll there. see you in the next video. Bye.